Because there's a misconception that is driving Africans desperately out of the continent into the West, into Europe and North America in a life-threatening way. Why are Africans ready to die, to migrate to the West, to migrate to what? There's a misconception that has been sold around the world and that is deceiving Africans. In the last three months, three incidents happened that has compelled me to come forward as much in, 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 with other incidents as well. One was a young 10-year-old Ivorian from Ivory Coast dropped dead in Paris, flying air France. It happened as well with a Kenyan who dropped dead in the UK. Now, Kenya and Cote d'Ivoire are perhaps two of the most beautiful countries in the world. But we have a 10 year old who is willing to risk his life and maybe parents and people who supported him to go to Paris. To what? It's the same with Kenya. Kenya with all its ecosystem, the diversity. You have the beaches, you have the Sahara. Kenya is perhaps one of the most beautiful part of the world. But Africans are willing to risk their lives to go to the West. It's all based on misconception. Now, you know that the 10 countries that are most developed in the world are the countries that are facing a loneliness crisis in the world. Last year, the World Economic Forum that is supposed to look at global economic issues focused on the loneliness crisis in the world, mainly in the West. There's a loneliness epidemic facing, you know, afflicting the West and it's afflicting the most what is supposed to be the most developed parts of the world? We're talking about Sweden, Norway, name it. These are the most successful. Listen, I speak to you, yes, from my research, but from a lived experience. I've lived extensively in North America, extensively in Africa, and in Europe. And I'm doing this because I think there's a lie that is fueling the lack of really the lifestyle and the well-being of Africans. There's a lie that is circulated out there. I've lived it all and my life has been better in Africa. Yes, I love the malls. It's nice to be able to access some good skincare in Sephora. The malls are all shiny and everything, but I can assure you that's all. I find community in Africa. I find myself here. The food is healthier, wholesome. I'm doing this because we need to share the truth, let the world know what the truth is, for the lives, to save the lives of Africans who are dying to get out of Africa. There's no need. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>